getting colder and so people are coming to the door. Um, we're seeing an, 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 uh, an increase in the amount of people that are calling for services, which is concerning to us. Serving the homeless during a pandemic, WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle spoke with the executive director of the Emergency Shelter of Northern Kentucky. He explains the issue many shelters will face and how it will take a community to help. As the temperatures begin to drop, we shelter those that are probably not sheltering anywhere else. The emergency shelter of Northern Kentucky begins the process of opening its cold shelter. A bed, a shower, food and comfort and compassion and dignity. Due to the pandemic, Executive Director Kim Webb says they're expecting to see an increase of folks needing services. You get sick, you lose a car, all those things contribute to that downward spiral. The problem following CDC guidelines and social distancing means taking the number of beds available from 32 to 24. We're going to have to get to a point where we're probably working to keep people comfortable staying outside. Um, and that is not a good feeling. The emergency shelter is asking for donations of twin size blankets and hand warmers. Webb says the pandemic has brought to light a community issue. There's always going to be that next person that's not going to get in a bed. And this is where our community partners and our and our community leaders are really starting to have a dialogue and look at this. Kim says while the focus is on this winter cold season, it's hard not to focus on what will become their future home, which is set to triple their current occupancy. The goal to make homelessness brief one time and non reoccurring. The blueprints show an on site medical room, 68 beds in a daytime navigation center to bring resources all under one roof. But for this last winter in their current home, they're hoping for community support. This is really the first time that we're getting everybody at the table saying, all right, we, we can do better here. In Covington, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.